All right, guys, so my head is ready to rock for valves. Now, what I just did, I did clean it again, wiped all the surfaces over here, every single one, then blew compressed air into each hole I could find, even the threaded holes, okay, not just oil galleries, even the threaded holes. You want to be able to make sure there's no, nothing, water, fluid, oil, nothing inside any of these holes because fluid does not compress you want to be able to tighten torque these down properly okay and you know it's got to be clean so now because the head is flipped the way i'm going to install those valves because remember how i set it up is these valves are on this side of the car and those valves go on that side of the car which is the left head and the right head so this is my left head, so that's going to take those valves. And since it's flipped, meaning, you know, upside down as uh, as I was uh, lapping those valves before. So now I'm going to take the first valve, I'm going to start with the exhaust, for example. This guy here, that guy is going to go right here, not here, right here. So I'm going to go from right to left. I'm going to take each one, each valve, each spring and seat and, and valve keepers, clean them up right here with brake cleaner, lubricate the stem, drop the valve from the bottom up. Oh, I'm missing seats. Are they in here? Oh, here they are. All right. So these go first. Then the spring, then this, uh, I don't know, top head, whatever you want to call that. And then the valve keepers. Okay, so here's a clean valve. Make sure your gloves are clean or hands. And then drop some oil in here too. Now what do I just shine underneath so I can see the valve and kind of aim for the hole. And there it is. I just don't feel like flipping the head. Okay. Now what I'm going to drop in as easy as without the seals when I was lapping them. You know, because of the new seals. But as, as long as it's smooth, you know, as long as this operation is smooth and you don't feel, you're, you're more gonna, if there's an issue, you're gonna more feel it than hear it actually. So we're good on that. Take this guy here. I could probably lubricate the, the bottom here. <clears throat> And we're back. Now, as you've noticed, or not, I did forget to put these, these, these washers in before the valve seals, but no biggie. It took me eight minutes to yank these out, install the, these washers, and tap those va uh, va valve seals back in. So we are good to go. All right, back to them valves. So now the spring, this guy, now I need to flip this tool, I'm going to find the center of the face of the valve. Start to squeeze the the spring. Make sure you don't hit the surface of the head with that bottom side of the tool. Okay. 
leave like a window over here you know so this is whatever you'll see now I'm gonna oil the top here of the valve just so the keepers stick okay now time for one keeper I think I need to compress the spring a bit more oh no okay the tweezers help a lot in oil Without, without oil, good luck. There you go. And now slowly, nope. Stay in there now, I'm just gonna add more oil. Come on, work with me. Yeah, I think I compressed it too much. Don't lose the keeper now. Where'd you go? Keep the keeper. Come on, get in there, man. And to think I gotta do this 32 more times or 32 overall for each keeper. Man, if, if they drop in like that, I don't know if you are seeing this, but it's no fun. Yeah, I compressed it way too much. So I'm gonna just compress it a little more. Take them out. Is it raining? It's raining. Come on. That's actually the worst thing you can do. There. Okay, so let's undo this a bit more. So they don't drop in like that. I gotta get, get into a rhythm over here. I haven't done this in a year or so. God, man. Are you seeing when and again? What if I just there? Okay, that's one. I think I need to call it a day for t for today. Again. All right, now this one dropped. What is going on today? All right, last time, or I'm going home. I gotta compress it more. Maybe more oil. This is ridiculous. Maybe if I... Okay, there we go. Man, and again... I was just thinking I gotta do this. This is my first one. Come on, man. Maybe super glue? Why don't you just get in there? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Got it. This is... So I'm going to continue and uh, be back in about 17 hours. Guys, I forgot to hit record on the first step or two. And I just uh, done, done it all without recording. But we have one more head to do. All right, so just finished installing the valves. Those keepers, I got two tips for you. Oil and light are your friends so make sure you see everything and oil these up once it's compressed the spring oil this up so the keepers stick don't be shy use oil okay so now i decided to instead of putting everything back on the head uh, before you know it's installed on the block i decided to well i did it i've done it like that on this um driver side one i torque the head first and then i've done everything while it was you know basically on the engine on the block this way when i'm torquing these down i don't need to hold down to the head with you know with my left hand and torquing it down with my right just makes it a bit easier so now i gotta clean up this surface here clean this up once this is clean i'm just gonna Turn it upside down, kind of angled, put a pen underneath or actually use that rag and just spray brake cleaner everywhere, get rid of that oil. Uh, turn it a little bit, sometimes once the piston is coming down, you can see some dirt around the cylinder wall, wipe that off, clean this with brake cleaner, wipe it off again. You know, yeah. Like, you know, wiping stuff off, cleaning it, it's going to be, you know, you got to do this 10 times over, okay, 20 times. Just make sure everything is spotless. Same thing on the with the head. Then uh, we're going to put the gasket back on and torque it down.